Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and this is the new lineup of Sony SRSXB Bluetooth speakers. They come in four versions. We've got the 10, 20, 30, and 40, each one of them getting slightly bigger and picking up additional features. And in this video, we're going to show you what the difference is between each model so you can get a better idea of which would work best for you. We'll talk about the similarities between them all first here. They all can be used as a speakerphone. They're all IPX5 rated for water resistance, all have a nice rubberized texture on the outside, and they can all be paired with a second speaker to create a stereo pair using Bluetooth 4.2. They all also have NFC and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, which are all nice features. Features. Now let's talk about some of the differences between them, starting with battery life. And this one's a little tricky. The 10 has a 16 hour battery, and when you move to the 20, the battery life drops to 12 hours. It's a good trade off, though, in my opinion, since the sound quality is much nicer on the 20, and it's not that much bigger. Now when you get to the 30 and the 40, you get a battery that will last up to 24 hours. You can also charge another device off of the 30 and 40, which you cannot do on the 10 and 20. Another difference to note is that the 10 does not work with the SongPal app, so there's fewer options to take advantage of there. Now for the 20, 30, and 40, they'll all work with the app, but there are some differences within the app for each one. You get to turn the standby modes on and off on all three of them, and you can control the uh, turn on the extra bass feature, but on the 20, there's no equalizer control for the bass, middle, and treble like there is on the 30 and 40. Another difference between the 20, 30, and 40 is light control. The 20 has four different lighting options, where the 30 and 40 have 12, and all have the option to turn the lights off altogether. On the 40, though, there's an app called Fiestable that you can download to get even more control over the lights, and it also gives you access to some DJ options that you can use while you're playing your music. The other major differences are going to be with the sound quality. As you go up in the line, the drivers get bigger, and you go from one passive radiator on the 10 and 20 to two on the 30 and 40. So you get improved bass. And the range of sound definitely improves as you move up, but all of them sound good for what they are. Now, for a more detailed breakdown on the individual speakers, make sure to check out our overview videos on these as well. So which one would you guys be most likely to use? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. As always, we appreciate you watching, and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to see all the cool stuff we carry here at APT.